I'm starting out with a nice lump of local apple wood, hopefully large enough to produce 12 baby's rattles at least. Cleave each one down with a blunt axe and a club. Take it over to the shaving horse, rub charm, take it down to size using a device called a draw knife. Once I have the cylinder that I want, take it over to the lathe and using a gimlet make a couple of centres, one at each end. A little dab of oil to help it spin freely, connect the pole lathe cable and fit it into the lathe. Using a roughing out gouge now to remove all the draw knife marks. Slide the string along the workpiece and fillage off that cylinder. Now I make a little pulley just at one end. And smooth the whole blank now with a square chisel. Small spindle gouge now just to clean up the end of the blank. This is still very fresh, so ideally now I'll take this blank, put it to one side and dry it for a week or two so that it's now partially dry. Still relatively soft though. I now use a skew chisel to mark out the details. This little ring you'll see coming in later and then mark out the three main rings for the rattle. Remove the waste with a small spindle gouge. And trim up each ring in turn, again using the skew chisel. Finishing off by smoothing the outside of each one. And pick up some dry, clean wood shavings, treadle hard, and this is a process called burnishing. Then a little dab of oil on each ring before they're separated from the rest of the rattle. This device here is called a ferret, which is a scraping tool to undercut each ring. Firstly on the right, and then on the left, hoping that the two cuts will meet. And if they meet successfully, the ring is then liberated. Repeat this with the other two rings till they're all rattling happily on the core of the rattle. Smooth the inside of each ring and now with a wire treadle hard and this burns a little black line in it, those grooves on it at each end liberating a cloud of beautiful smelling applewood smoke. Using the roughing out gouge now to clean up the core of the rattle. Now separating the rattle from the blank that remains, there's sufficient wood there to get another rattle out of that. And now starts the most difficult cut of all, cleaning up the ends with the skew chisel to achieve a really smooth finish. Once I've finished the turning, now give it another burnish, another coat of oil. Saw the little stub off one end, separate it from the next rattle, keeping fingers well out of the way, clean off the end with a sharp chisel and you have your finished rattle.